Hello, welcome to the NextGen Storage Technology Demonstration with VMware Virtual Volumes. My name is Ben Bowles. I am Vice President of Products here at NextGen Storage. This demonstration video will show how the NextGen Storage Quality of Service capabilities are integrated with VMware Virtual Volumes to provide granular storage performance management tied directly to the individual virtual machine. In this demo, we will show how the NextGen Storage system integrates with vVols by first registering the VASA provider within vCenter, next configuring data store containers for the vVols, third setting up the storage policies in vCenter to map to the QoS performance policies of the NextGen array. We'll provision virtual machines to vVols located on the NextGen array, including changing the QoS performance policies within vCenter on the VM and watching it make those changes on the array itself. So let's get started. The first step is setting up the NextGen Storage VASA 2.0 provider that does the vVols integration with the NextGen Storage N5 hybrid array. To register the VASA provider, I'm going to open up my vSphere web client and navigate to the vCenter servers and select the vCenter server on which we're going to register the provider. Here I'm going to go to the Manage tab and click on the Storage Providers tab. I'm going to select the Add New Storage Providers and specify the name URL, uh, username, and password for the NextGen Storage VASA provider. Now that I've registered, I see that my NextGen Storage VASA provider is connected and online. And I also have one N5 that's connected, active, and uh, ready to be provisioned uh, for VMware virtual volumes. The next step is to provision data store containers for uh, the vVols. And so we're going to select the Related Objects tab and uh, go to the Data Stores tab. And here we're going to create uh, two data stores uh, on the NextGen N5 array for uh, vVols. And so we're going to select the uh, ESX server that we're going to create these data stores on. I have one ESX server in my lab and uh, we select next there. The type is going to be a vVol and then we're going to name the the container uh, so the data store name will be uh, vVol data store dash A and there's two uh, storage pools on the next gen N5 uh, pool owner A that maps to storage processor A and pool owner B, which maps to uh, storage processor B. And you see the identifiers there for the vVols uh, for those storage processors. And so we'll go ahead and create that uh, data store container uh, that maps to storage processor A. And then we're gonna create another one that maps to storage processor B. Follow the same steps here, uh, select the server, select the vVol type and then we'll give it a name it'll be called uh, vVol data store dash b and it'll map to the pool owner b uh, storage pool on storage processor b Now that we've got our data stores set up, the next thing we need to do is to set up the VM storage policies. So we select the policies item there within the vSphere client, and we're going to select the VM storage policies. Here we're going to create a new storage policy. So we'll select that. And this is where we're going to set up the VM storage policies within vCenter that map directly to the uh, QoS performance policies that are on the NextGen N5 storage. So we're going to name these uh, the same as what they're named on the storage array. So mission critical policy one is the first one that we'll set up. 
um, and then we'll give it a description uh, that will be easy for us to select um, later in the drop down. So next gen storage mission critical policy one uh, will be the description. We're going to base this on the uh, next gen storage VASA provider and we're going to add a rule for quality of service that will tie it directly to the quality of service on the storage array. And this first one, we're going to do mission critical policy one as the quality of service level for this policy. And we'll get that set up. There's five policies total on the next gen N5 uh, storage array. So we're going to set up a VM storage policy that maps to each one of those. Um, the next one will be business critical policy two. So we'll set that up and we'll do that for each one of these and fast forward a bit here for the demo. Uh, the next one will be business critical policy three, followed by uh, non-critical policies four and five. Now that we're done with that, what you see here is a list of the five additional policies that we've added, uh, mission critical policy one through non-critical policy five. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and log in to the uh, next gen IO control console. And what we see here is that the policies that we've just set up map directly to what we have on the IO control provision screen. If we look at these policies, uh, for mission critical policy one, as an example, you see the IOPS throughput and latency targets associated with those policies. Policy two, and then policy three. Okay, now that we've set up the policies, we need to map the default policies for each data store. So we're going to go select the two data stores that we uh, created in the previous step and we go to the manage tab and you'll see that the default storage policy is VVOL no requirements and we're going to change that so for the uh, first data store we're going to set it to be uh, the default policy to be mission critical policy one and then we'll do a similar thing on the second data store where we'll change it to be a business critical policy two. And you could do this for um, any of the data stores that you create and set their default policy uh, for how the VVOLs will be set up uh, when we go to provision uh, the virtual machines, which we'll do next. Now that we have our data stores and policies configured, we can go ahead and start provisioning VMs to virtual volumes on the next gen array. So here I'm going to select a template from which I can deploy uh, Windows 2008 R2 servers. Uh, so this first one will give it a name W2K8-demo-100. We'll go ahead and select the ESX server that we'll provision this to. And then here is where you see the VM storage policy selection. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to mission critical policy one and that will map this virtual machine and its virtual volumes to the QoS policy on the next gen array for mission critical policy one. So go ahead and deploy this virtual machine. Now that that's complete, we can inspect that virtual machine. And what we'll see is that the VM storage policy associated to that virtual machine will be VM storage policy, mission critical policy one. And again, that maps directly to the quality of service settings on the storage array. We'll go ahead and deploy another virtual machine. I uh, will name this W2K8-demo-200. And this one will map to the business critical policy two. So again, we'll select the ESX server, hit next, and then select the VM storage policy that maps to business critical policy two 
on the next gen N5 storage array. Now that that's complete, we'll go ahead and power on both these VMs. Let's go take a look at the IO control management console here. So in policy one, what we see is three virtual volumes created, uh, one for configuration, one for swap, and one for the VM. And we see the three VVOLs in policy one for the first VM and the three VVOLs in policy two for the second VM. You know, one interesting thing that you can do is that you can change the policies associated with a VM on the fly. So here we've got the first uh, demo 100 server and I'm going to change its policies from mission critical policy one and let's go ahead and move that to a business critical policy three and we'll go ahead and apply to all of the VVOLs for that VM and so this is changing the QoS policies on the storage on the fly by changing the VVOL uh, policy. And so here on the management console, we see that those three VVOLs have moved from policy one to business critical policy three. This concludes the NextGen Storage virtual volumes demonstration. I hope you learned about how the NextGen Storage QoS capabilities can help map storage QoS directly to a virtual machine with VVOLs. Thank you for your time.